I'm a third year PhD student at Arizona State University in the School of Criminology and Criminal Justice. I originally got my master's degree at the University of Nevada, Reno. Um, one of the big things I was looking at when I was applying to PhD programs, of course, was the faculty. Um, you want to go somewhere where the faculty are really diverse and you know that if you for some reason don't end up working with the specific faculty member that you're still going to have an opportunity to study what it is that you're interested in and the faculty at Arizona State are really top rate in all kinds of fields so no matter what you're looking for the people here are going to be able to help you get awesome opportunities. I've made a lot of uh, friends very very quickly the Cohorts are diverse and offer a lot of unique perspectives uh, within classes and then outside just really challenging um, a lot of my knowledge and my uh, and assumptions. It's been really, really great. One really, really nice aspect of the, um, of the program here is the cohorts are very, um, are very supportive of each other. Um, I've gotten a ton of help from uh, people who are two, three, even four years ahead of me in the program who are just happy to sit and listen to whatever I'm going through and, and you know, give their, uh, give their advice, um, which has just been a really, really nice opportunity. Um, I highly recommend um, ASU. It's, uh, it's a great place to study police. It's a great uh, place to study um, theory. It's been just a really, really wonderful experience. In terms of the program itself, um, I, I feel like I've been mentored uh, so well by my advisors. I've been able to take uh, so many different courses um, because I'm interested in methods, in mixed methods. I was able to, um, you know, I'm able to get a strong quantitative background as well as qualitative background. Um, I've been able to work with uh, Dr. Scott Decker and I've been able to go into the field and do interviews one-on-one um, -on -one with ex-gang members and that was so exciting. Uh, I really enjoyed myself and I don't think uh, I would have got that experience anywhere else. Uh, yeah, and I, I feel like uh, that's definitely helped me, um, you know, hone my skills as an interviewer. Uh, but also working with other faculty on different papers, um, I've been able to uh, develop my qu quantitative skills and that's been very, very helpful uh, for me and I'm really excited that I'm part of this program and I definitely recommend it to other students. So right now I'm teaching both the in-person and online version of the Introduction to Corrections class which deals with um, uh, everything from probation to jails to prison time and then parole once people are released from incarceration. I really liked the um, ability to start um, off, I was a teaching assistant, so I went from that and kind of got a little bit more in depth than I had previously as far as how some of this coursework works and how to set up a class to begin with. Um, so that was a nice introduction to kind of teaching because that's kind of where I wanted to eventually get to. Um, so it was, I really enjoyed getting a little bit of like kind of dipping my toe in and not being like fully just thrown into something that I wasn't 100% prepared for. But then getting to this point now where I'm in my fourth year and I'm teaching my own class, I completely developed the syllabus and all of the um, in-class activities. I've prepared a few of those and finding video clips and just really making it my own thing. I really liked the freedom that I was given once I got up to this point and felt comfortable kind of taking charge. I'm a older, I'll say, um, PhD student. Um, I started the program here a few years ago and I am so grateful that I had this opportunity. Um, ASU was one of the last schools to let me know that I got in um, and it was my number one school so I was very grateful to find out then on top of that that uh, it was the best package as far as covering everything and feeling like I can really learn and grow here. Um, the faculty is top rate. I'm, I've learned so much from them over the last few years and there's no way that I'd be, I'm on the job market right now, so there's no way that I would feel any confidence without how amazing they have been the last few years. Um, I'll also say that Phoenix is a really cool city. Um, there's a lot of different things to do around here if you like to hike or there's tons of sporting events. Because it's a major city, there's lots of concerts and then presidents come here, like everything. <laughs> There's so many uh, really cool things to do. And then of course, you're a few hours away from Mexico, a few hours away from the Grand Canyon, a few hours away from California, etc. So when you do have some free time while doing the PhD, it's really nice to kind of get away for a couple of days. The other thing that I really adore about this program and that I'm so happy to 
be coming out of here this year with an ASU stamp on my CV is the opportunity to have to be a participant in primary data collection. Um, I've just been given so many great, again, opportunities by the faculty here um, in situations where you can really get your hands dirty in data instead of analyzing data from the ivory towers like they say academics do all the time. Another thing I really like about Arizona State University is there are a ton of professional development opportunities. We have a pretty regular rotation of workshops on going on the job market, on teaching, on presenting at ASC, all kinds of things. So it's really helpful to be able to do that. Um, one thing we're starting up now is a student um, graduate committee to kind of better represent the interests of the students. So we're even developing that prof professional development aspect a little bit further as we go on. So that has been really great as well. And then again, it's a big selling point when you're out there looking at PhD programs. Funding is huge. The funding packages at Arizona State are very competitive. It's the highest offer I received. Um, and then they also will fund you to go to conferences. And a lot of schools don't do that. So if you're looking at going to professional conferences and presenting, it's definitely a big selling point so you can get out there and network and meet other scholars. So there have been a lot of great opportunities here. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, Arizona State, if you're interested in going into the criminology and criminal justice field, our students come out and they get awesome jobs. They have great reputations. Um, they're well published and the faculty really do whatever it takes to kind of keep you on the right path and get you out in, on time and achieve whatever goals that you're out to achieve.